I probably look a little bit weird right now, but that's because I'm in the middle of filming this eye tutorial. Um, it will be up later on, I think next week or maybe Sunday. So I'll link that down below when it's available. But today's video is going to be a drugstore foundation routine because I don't know, I got a lot of really good feedback on drugstore week and I was like, why not give it an extra day with uh, another drugstore video? Everybody likes foundation routines. At least I know I do. I get a lot of great feedback on all of the foundation routines I have on my channel. So I figured why not do another one this time using all drugstore products because I do have like a uh, routine using all drugstore products that I really, really like. It's very flawless, very full coverage and I really enjoy it. It's great for anybody that's looking for flawless skin. Yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. Oh, P.S. Sorry if you hear rain in the background. It is like a monsoon outside. I don't even understand how that happened. It is November. Not that it doesn't rain in November. It just never rains this hard in November. <laughs> this is like hurricane season kind of rain. Oh my god, lightning too? Oh shit. So we're gonna start off with primer. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I absolutely love it. I went into more detail about this product in my drugstore starter kit, which I will also link down below. I'm actually gonna just link my drugstore makeup playlist down below for you guys to check out. It's a great primer, really nice and smoothing on the skin. It really like, it just makes your skin feel like butter and like so easy for your foundation to glide on. It is like a white, uh, substance I don't know it feels a lot like the hourglass um, primer which I love but this one is obviously a lot cheaper because that thing is so expensive so I'm just gonna put this all over my skin it really like makes you feel like a baby's bottom on your face I know a lot of people like to let their primer sink in and that probably is best but to be honest I never have time for that so we're just gonna move straight into the foundation okay so usually I would just go in with my foundation but when I want to do like a completely flawless makeup I do start with a concealer and that is just to hide like redness under the skin because really bad redness can like peek through your foundation and there's really not much you can do unless you conceal before. So this is the Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. This is in the shade Light. I'm going to take this really weird like yellowy green looking one over here. It really looks like puke or like zombie skin. But I'm going to pop this on the red areas and that kind of green undertone is really going to cancel out the redness. Like what? That is gone already. And this concealer is like super full coverage, super creamy. And I use my fingers for this just to just to kind of warm up the product and kind of melt it into my skin and it really helps so you can like roll your finger like this you can just tap it whatever but this one is like super stubborn I don't know what's with this but yeah just go over all the spots that are like kind of red which is usually like my cheeks a little bit around the mouth just because everybody gets red there it's just like a hormonal thing um I do have some blemies down here that's my new word for blemishes blemies <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Schmidt from New Girl. I feel like that's something he would say. Right over here, and then maybe let's cover up my birthmark because we're going for a flawless look. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about getting like all the redness because, I mean, the foundation will obviously cover things up because why else would you use foundation? But for the most part, and it does look super splotchy and weird right now, but that is why we're going over with foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the L'Oreal True Match My absolute favorite from the drugstore. Um, this is in the shade N3 Natural Buff. I probably could go a shade lighter, but mm, why spend the money? I'm good. <laughs> um, this is a great foundation. You can build it up to full coverage. You can keep it nice and sheer if you like a lighter uh, coverage. But for me, I do like a full coverage, so I really love this one because you can build it up as much as you want, and it doesn't get cakey. It doesn't look strange. It doesn't like I don't know. It just is amazing. With this foundation, I don't know why, but I usually like to cut, like put my finger like that and get some on my finger and then dot it around my face. Actually, I think because I just saw like Nicole Guerrero do this and then that's the way I did it, but it works great. So thanks, Nicole. Yeah, so you just dot it around your whole face. I put like a million dots everywhere because I do like a lot of product. And yeah, people always tell me that I put on too much foundation or too much concealer, but it's okay. This works for me. I look flawless when I step out the door, so huh. you know it's time to stop when you no longer have space to put a dot of foundation. And then I do really like to use this foundation in like a flat top kabuki brush. So you can use this one from Sigma. You can use this one from Sedona Lace. It doesn't actually matter. Just get a flat top kabuki type brush. You can also use like um, the Expert Face Brush from... Real Techniques. But yeah, I'm going to use my Sigma one because it is my favorite and I'm going to start pressing this into my skin. You don't want to buff just yet. You really just want to press it into the skin. 
and this is going to really adhere it to your skin it's going to really lock it in like instead of it just sitting on the top layer it's really going to sink into your skin and that's going to help with longevity with just the way it lays way it looks on your skin it's just really going to help an overall flawless finish um this is the hardest part for me in between the eyebrows because i don't want to like mess up my brow game but a lot of times i do um and around the brows too because i don't want to mess them up but yeah you're just going to keep pressing once you pat that all in then you can go in and buff but i really just like the patting motion really i'll only buff if i really see like noticeable streaks but yeah this is one layer of the foundation this little bitch oh my god it just won't go away i do want a like really le nice flawless coverage for this foundation routine because i want to show you like the full potential of this foundation so i'm just gonna go with a little bit of foundation just a light second layer just to kind of show you how it builds and what exactly you can do with this so i'm just putting a few dots thinner dots than before all over my face and then we're gonna buff this out too to just see how it builds and see how much more coverage you can get out of it so once again i just go in and press i like buffing in more lighter coverage foundations but for when i want full coverage i definitely do this padding like pressing motion kind of like the same motion you would do with a beauty blender but with an actual brush because i don't know i feel like that's part of a lot of the reason that beauty blenders give you such great coverage is because you're pouncing it on your face rather than like swiping it and it really just locks the foundation in and gives you the fullest coverage you can get out of a foundation okay so as you can see very very flawless all we have to conceal is really under the eyes and maybe like do some highlighting but as you can see all of my redness is kind of like gone <laughs> um all my redness is gone all my blemishes are basically covered except for this little bitch right here that doesn't want to go away but mm, fuck you okay so now we're gonna move on to concealer my favorite concealer for when i'm like doing a full coverage kind of like really 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 full coverage look is this l'oreal visible lift blur concealer i don't hear a lot of people talk about this because it is a fairly new one but i really really like it it just really reminds me of the l'oreal i mean not the l'oreal the mac pro long wear just with the consistency and the the pigmentation and stuff i really like it it's super creamy very pigmented just uh, overall love it so i take that on my fingers and then i just go under my eyes i kind of do that triangle motion that we all love and as you can see a little bit goes a very long way and i do like go all the way up into that inner corner because that's where i get really like darkness and like blue purple so i do really like to conceal all the way up into this corner to make sure that all of that discoloration is gone i then go around my mouth to highlight and then i'll take a little bit more and go down my nose cupid's bow, chin and then in my forehead and then to blend out concealer i always use a blend beauty blender i really haven't found a brush that i like any like i really just love the beauty blender i haven't found any brush that compares to the way this applies concealer or blends out concealer because i apply it with my fingers so yeah, I'm just going to blend this out with the Beauty Blender, and it really does a great job. In these inner corners right here, you have to be a little bit careful so you don't mess up your eye makeup if you've already done it. But the Beauty Blender just really works fantastic for blending out concealer. And then before anything settles into any fine lines, we're going to go ahead and set our under eyes. I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which is my favorite drugstore powder. It's really one of the only drugstore powders I use because it's just the best. I'm going to take that on a Real Technique setting brush and just press that onto the concealer we put under our eyes first because that is the most likely to crease and move around. And this is the shade Sandstorm. I actually recommend getting the translucent one just because if you use it under your eyes it's not going to darken up the concealer that you put down there but if you use it on the rest of your face it's not going to do anything to that either so yeah i'm just taking the setting brush and just kind of running it all over where we put that concealer and then i'm going to take like a big powder brush um and just kind of press it over the rest of the face just to set it all in place okay and then we're gonna move on to contouring i actually like to contour with the nyx matte bronzer it's just a really great shade this is in the shade medium they do have three different shades it's just a great bronzer it's really nice and blendable great pigmentation just a great color all around and i actually use that with this little um 
flat like square brush that came with the hula bronzer it's kind of like a little mini nars eater brush and i just get that in the product and then i just go in and contour my cheeks and it really does a great job at like giving you that nice clean contour line so i go under my cheekbones to hollow out my cheeks, make my face look a little slimmer, and then I go up around my temples to kind of do the same thing, make my face, make my forehead look a little bit smaller, and then along my jawline to kind of hide that double chin edge. And then sometimes I like to take a little bit around the nose, just to slim out my nose, but my nose isn't really, like, big, so I don't really feel like I need this that much, but I just sometimes do it to kind of tie that bronzer color into the rest of my face so it doesn't look out of place and then I go under my lip to make it look a little bit poutier and then I'll take this big tulip brush with that same bronzer and just kind of blend out the one the bronzer on my cheeks just to make it look a little bit more natural I bring it up above the contour line though so that it doesn't go too far down my face kind of like mix in with my foundation because that'll look weird um and then I just go in with any blush that I'll be using for the day this one is one of my faves it's a Milani baked blush this is in the shade Berry Amour and this is just a really really pretty like glowy neutral pink like I don't even know how to describe it it's just really pretty this is a uh, Sigma F40 and I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks and as you can see it's just a really pretty blush color I mean honestly for this routine just use whatever blush color you're gonna use but I really like this one and do recommend it. Okay, and then I'll go in with whatever highlighter I'm using for the day. This is the NYX Illuminator in Narcissistic. It's a really nice, like, peachy... I don't really know how to describe it. It's just pretty. Um, and then I'm going to put that on an E50 large fluff brush because this kind of gives any highlighter a little bit more pigmentation than, like, a fluffier brush. So then I'm going to just take that on the brush and just pop it on the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'll bring it around to my temple. Um, and then sometimes I like to go right above the brow to give a little bit of glow there. And then down the center of the nose, I like to do some on the tip of the nose because I think it looks really cute and pretty. And then Cupid's bow makes your lips look a lot poutier and just prettier. Um, a little bit on the chin and then a little bit on the center of the forehead. And as you can see, you are glowing, baby. So yeah, that's basically all I do for my foundation routine. Um, I'm going to go finish up this tutorial on this look here, and then I'll be back to sign off. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Okay, ladies, that is basically it for my drugstore foundation routine. I hope this helped you. I hope you learned a lot about how I do my foundation, and also some great products to try, because I love all of the products I use in this video, and I definitely recommend them to all of you. I think they're fabulous, and as you can see, I'm looking pretty flawless right now, right? <laughs> when it's available, I will link the tutorial for this eye, like this whole makeup look down below, because I did just just film a tutorial but that's gonna go up later on so I'll film I'll link it down below when it's available so look out for that make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when this look is up but yeah that's basically all I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this one please give it a thumbs up if you did let me know down in the comments what your favorite drugstore foundation is because I would love to hear from you because I love drugstore foundations especially trying them out it's like one of my favorite things to do so let me know down there I love you all so much thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye my loves